Discovering a massive Japanese spy ring puts the FBI and naval intelligence on alert six months before Pearl Harbor. Recently declassified documents suggest that a former high-ranking British officer was part of that enemy spy ring. There were several reports that mentioned Major Frederick Rutman of the British Navy. I said, wow, you know, how would a British officer be associated with Japanese spies? Right now, we're up in the Hollywood Hills, and we're looking for Warbler Lane. And I believe it's right around here somewhere. Michael Cara has dug into the FBI reports on Rutland. He's found clues linking him to an exclusive Los Angeles neighborhood called the Bird Streets. Frederick Rutland, the Japanese government gave him the equivalent of $3 million to buy a house up here. In August 1934, Frederick Rutland settles in California. He poses as a wealthy English investor, living the high life among the Hollywood elite. He becomes a pretty well-known, distinguished gentleman in the Beverly Hills area. He's actually gone out and gives speeches, and everybody thinks he is a reputable businessman. Secretly, Rutland is a deep cover agent for Japan. He even has a code name, Shinkawa, meaning New River. Michael's uncovered evidence that in the years leading up to Pearl Harbor, Rutland crisscrosses America, filming military installations, transport hubs, and heavy industry. He passes it all to none other than Japanese spymaster Itaru Tachibana. Takibana and Rutland were working together. They were learning basically all about the military industry in Los Angeles. Michael thinks he's found Rutland's 1941 home. To Michael, the location is a clue as to what motivated the working class Englishman. He grew up in a poor family, became a naval officer in the Royal Navy, and he always wanted to be somebody. And the Japanese government gave him that chance. Rutland's career began in World War I as an Air Force officer, helping Britain's powerful Navy develop a revolutionary new weapon, the aircraft carrier. Rutland is a visionary of future naval warfare and how aircraft can be a large component of that. Britannia had ruled the waves for nearly two centuries. But in 1921, Japan shocks the world and launches the first purpose-built aircraft carrier. This is a country that two generations earlier was effectively a non-modern feudal society that has then broken ground by developing this revolutionary, innovative new weapon of war. Frederick Rutland sees his own future in the land of the rising sun. In 1922, Japan approaches him with a lucrative offer. Leave the Royal Air Force, come to Japan, and work for us. Under the contract, Rutland is working for Mitsubishi Shipbuilding. He was actually working directly for the Imperial Japanese Navy. In Japan, Rutland sells unique secret information about the technology of Britain's Naval Air Strike Force. And he trains Japanese pilots how to land on the Imperial Navy's new aircraft carriers. Frederick J. Rutland was a key player in the development of the Japanese war machine. 